It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the Lewis Marks & Company toy manufacturer. Legend has it that toys are made at the North Pole, and while some cynics don't believe in Santa Claus and his elves, true believers know they exist, just differently than the story is told. One of America's first virtual Santa Clauses was Lewis Marks, who along with his brother David started the Lewis Marks Toy Company in New York in 1919. Toys were expensive and not commonplace for children from families of lesser means at the time, so the mission of the company was to make high-quality toys that were affordable. In the 1930s, the Marks Toy Company purchased a former Fokker aircraft plant in Glendale, outside of Moundsville. They geared the facility to produce metal vehicles and non-mechanical items. In the 1940s, they built a new wing to produce toys with the newest trend, plastic. The Glendale facility propelled Marks to be the largest toy manufacturer in the world, and West Virginia's facility was its biggest producer, making dollhouses, trucks, play sets, action figures, and most famously, the Big Wheel, which today is in the Toy Hall of Fame and the Smithsonian. Four unions were active at Glendale, and the factory had over 2,000 workers at its peak in the 1960s. However, in 1972, Lewis Marx sold the company to Quaker Oats to produce Fisher Price, but that relationship was short-lived, as four years later, they sold the factory to another company, Dunby Convex Limited. But that company struggled too, filing for bankruptcy and closing the factory by the 1980s. Today, toys made by the Marx Company are considered valuable collector's items and are traded on eBay, reminding the world of a day when the magic associated with the North Pole could be found in Glendale, West Virginia.